Are you serious? Oh my god. First of March today, Aaron and I are here in Iowa. Did a little shed hunting yesterday. It was really windy yesterday. We, we got tree stand work to do, but we didn't want to do it yesterday while it was windy. So we're going to take advantage of the nicer day today and go ahead and take care of all these tree stands. Say they're digging for it. I already worked way harder than I wanted to today. Had a big log fall down. We're up in the North Valley where Mike killed wide load back in 2016. And these deer are forced to kind of come through this 20 or 30 yard gap of this big washout that ends right here and of course a big tree fell right across one of the main trails so we just chainsawed that gave them a nice lane to come through here and it took a lot more work than we were hoping for so now we're all sweaty cameras twine should be good Just got one spot in here. I want to touch up the mineral and hang one camera up here on a fence gap by this pond dam. And then we've only got one other spot to hit yet this afternoon. So making good time. This morning it's November 10th. Yep. Is that right? Yep. It's November 10th. Officially the longest I've ever waited to start hunting in Iowa. It's been just shitty weather for the first 10 days of November or nine days of November. We had plans of being down here about a week ago, but uh, just super warm. Temperatures up in the 70s. Deer just not doing anything. Trail cameras went silent. But we finally got a cold front to come in. 
So uh, we're back. We're down. We've been hunting up north for the last week, but we're back down south where we want to be. We're here to uh, hunt Iowa for however long it takes, kind of jumping back and forth with JP to Kansas. Mike's down here with an Iowa tag. We're four deep at the rack shack, and hopefully we can knock down some bucks. We're going to see some deer this afternoon. I think so, too. Shit's going to get weird. out this morning it started storming late last night it's tapering off right now it's about 11 o'clock and we're expecting once this rain quits we're expecting these bucks to get up and move Bat. Up. And then I watched him just kind of walk out of, 
out of sight. Real thick back here. I don't think he's going far before he lays down. I definitely want to get out of this tree before a bigger one comes by. The wind's blowing perfect straight towards the camera right now and he's straight behind us and it's ripping so I think we'll be able to get out of here. Probably give it a little while. Slip out of here. <sighs> we'll bring Mike and JP with us after dark and hopefully get that deer. He's a, he's a stud. It's go time. It's going to be about 10 o'clock when we get to the shot, which will be exactly eight hours since I shot him. Pretty, pretty confident it's a liver shot. Um, might have got, might have got along on the way in. I don't know, but with a liver, I've always had luck waiting six to eight hours. We aired on the side of caution, waited eight. Hopefully, we go in there and pick up the trail and find us a dead buck within a couple hundred yards. Mike picked up blood down in this ditch and he's coming on this trail. There's a shelf right here. He picks up a shed laying right in the bottom of the ditch. Then he starts looking for blood again, comes back, looks down, the other side's laying there. Match set and I'm almost 100% sure it's off the deer that's laying dead 10 yards from where he dropped. These sheds are a year and a half old so this is his rack two years ago but I'm almost 100% sure it's him. That is wild. <laughs> Let's go look at this deer. <laughs> I just told Aaron just back there, I said, you know what the best news is? When we find the buck, Mike's got to give me these. <laughs> Hell yeah. Feels good. I was confident that was a fatal shot, but when you run out of blood and it's dark, you start to question everything. <sighs> you gotta follow the sheds. This is unreal. This is honestly unbelievable. This is no doubt, no doubt in my mind, the same buck. And Mike just picked this match set up, which is from two years ago, weighing 10 yards from where this deer tipped over. Absolutely insane. No doubt about it. Look at that. <laughs> Come on freaking unreal. So I'm gonna say this is three. He's probably five. Would have loved to have been down here November 1st or 2nd when we intended to come down and start hunting, but uh, the weather sucked to say the least. It's been very warm, 70 degrees, pretty much south winds for the last 10 days. And this farm I'm on here just does not lay out good for south winds. Um, winds blowing at your back any way you approach it. It's just not something I wanted to do was come in here on south winds. Huge front came in, stormed for about 12, 14 hours. Um, rain, lightning, thunder, and it all cleared out today and the temperatures were about 20 to 30 degrees cooler than they have been. So we knew we had to slip in. Um, came in at the tail end of the rain, got rained on for about an hour. Rain stopped, wind started blowing, and the buck started moving. It was an unbelievable sit. We got in the tree about 11, and we were done by two. I gotta thank Mike, Dylan, JP, everybody on the crew, everybody that puts time in. It's just unbelievable. Huge shout out to my friend Chico. He's the reason I'm here in Iowa in the first place. 
huge shout out to the landowners that let me do this. Pretty special.